and welcome to Interpret Your World, a channel designed by interpreters for interpreters to give you the confidence and practice you require to become a great interpreter. On our YouTube channel, you will find mock scenario practice, advanced random phrase practice, long form vocabulary practice, short form vocabulary practice, definitions and tips and tricks videos we also have a patreon page to complement the youtube channel where for as little as one dollar of your support you will gain access to everything on that page including ad free practice videos scripts and answer sheets vocabulary lists and much more content you will also find short form medical vocabulary practice videos on facebook instagram TikTok, and Kauai for you to practice your vocabulary with us. Now on this video, I'm going to be talking about the short form videos and playlists. Why did I make them and uh, what, how I would use them or how do I expect for you guys to use them. And if we go to the playlist, we see here basic anatomy, external vocabulary playlist. And this was intended for you guys to be able to practice your vocabulary real quickly. Like, for example, if you are a beginner interpreter and you don't know where to start, you can just come here, access this, and then you can quickly just press play big toe. Dedo gordo del pie. And then you wait, and then you check if it's right. If you know, you can all skip it and skip it. So, Puña el dedo del pie. Puña el pie. Dedo del pie. And then, of course, and then you see, so, planta del pie. And then here. Talon. And that is for beginners to be able to practice their um, interpretation real quickly. And then it, their vocabulary, sorry. And then you can always shuffle the playlist if you already know the order. Uh, genitales, right? There you go. So I made this uh, video series or this short form uh playlist for beginners to be able to have like a really really quick playlist and this is the old videos but they're, they're still the same they don't have all that good stuff panta see so that's gonna give you like a already a quick uh vocabulary list and i'm gonna be adding more stuff to this for you guys to be able to practice your vocabulary and of course i'm gonna be making much much more lists <laughs> So hopefully that will uh, hopefully that will help you guys. And let's go back to the playlists. All right. And I'm not gonna be talking about this until the end. Uh, so that's that one. And let's see. For example, this one. And this is the very same thing, but this is just like general. You're gonna find in here all of the videos that we did. And look, this is what I mean. And of course, this video is a little bit too long. It's seven seconds and you're barely hearing the words. So they can get a little bit tedious. And I realized that. So of course, that's why I already have them like much, much shorter here. So just keep that in mind. And uh, I will be remaking these videos to be like short and sweet and easy to practice with. But it's pretty much the same concept. You know, uh, but this is just generalized and I am going to be able to, uh, I, I am uh, uh, expecting to be able to put them like in night little in uh, little playlists as well. And then, for example, here uh, you, it says Termino de Servicio al Cliente and it doesn't say what it is, you know, but for example, here uh, I put the word Periodo de Tiempo in English, that way you can uh, whenever you have um, like a, a, a doubt, how how do you say something? You can just put the word and then in English 
and hashtag uh, IYW for interpret your world and the initials for interpret your world and you will be able you should be able to find like whatever word right that's that's what my aim is right that's why i am doing this so but of course it's a work in progress and i have to redo all of these ones because they're long and then i didn't in, um, include the name but i mean for the most part you they're still good videos, you know, you can still practice with them, but do keep in mind that they're going to be a little long. And here as well, this is the same thing, but in Spanish for customer service. And the same thing for uh, the medical ones. The medical ones were the ones that we started way before all of them. So they are going to have much more uh, words. But of course, most of the videos are going to be like this. I mean, they're not that long, but if you're pressed on time, you're probably going to think that like, this video's last forever. So they have good terminology, and like you see my sister there when she worked for us and with us. And here you can see that I am redoing all of this. And, um, well, I didn't redo them. I just uh, started making them like this now. But I still have to redo all of this one. So they will be easier to practice. But these are daily. I do them every day. So uh, you know that there's like it's inevitable. Like they're all going to you're going to have good vocabulary here. Okay. And the last thing that I want to tell you about the short form videos is this ones that um the definition ones because the definition ones i realized that i wanted to give you like a definition for you in case you don't know what that word is you're gonna have a definition there but then i realized that for example let's see uh we'll link a new tab <laughs> Let me, let me show you, for example, uh, let's see what word, uh, garganta, right? And then let's look for throat here, where is it? Customer service definition, uh, 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 definition medical, medical definition, right? And if we go through here, we should be able to go all the way. And we should be able to find throat somewhere around here. Testicles, genitals, here, belly button, pelvis, ribs, nail, thumb, knuckles, fist, elbow, nipple, chest, shoulders, torso, uh, throat. All right. So now here, throat. All right, parte hueca que comienza en la parte superior de la boca hacia el esófago, or something like that, right? I, I wasn't writing it down, but this should say the same thing. All right, so I realized that you guys can actually look at these videos and uh, like for example you take this right and you listen to it and you interpret it and then you can come to the english one and then you can check to see if you interpreted it correctly right and uh, most of the videos should be interpreted like um i'm sorry they should be translated perfectly do keep in mind, like, for example, let's see, dedos. Uh, this is in English, so it should be fingers. Uh, and I want to show you, for example, not, not all the words mean the same in English and Spanish. And I've already told you this, but for the most part, all of the words are going to be the same. You know, it's not that different. But, for example, here, let's listen to this. Okay, and then this one. All 
Okay, and she said something wrong. That's not, that's not right. Que se extienden de las manos y de los pies. No de las manos a los pies. That, that's some long fingers. But anyways, uh, I'm going to get her to redo that one. And But you can see that this one talks about uh, feet and hands, right? Because dedos are on the feet and dedos are on the hands. But in English, fingers are just on the on the hands, right? So just keep that in mind when you're using these videos to uh, practice your interpretation. But, I mean, for the most part, as you can see, for example, elbow, uh, colo. They should be translated perfectly as well because, I mean, elbow doesn't mean anything else but an elbow, right? Uh, let's see. And I don't know where that's going to be at. Uh, okay, no. Mm, step, ankle, calf, kneecap, thigh, groin, vagina, pender. Uh, where is it? Uh, should be elbow. Okay, let's listen to this one. Okay, now let's listen to this one. See, so that is something that you guys can use and they're short and sweet so they are perfect for beginners and this is something that i really wanted you guys to know that you can use this to practice your interpretation but you will have to keep in mind that not all words mean the same all right they're equivalent translations but they may not mean um, they may not mean the same okay and da, 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 da. I want to go back to playlists. How do I go back to the... Here we go. All right. And... And then here's a playlist. Because if you're trying to do it through shorts, I mean, we publish like 10, no, like 6, 7, 8, 8 shorts a day. So good luck trying to find them right here. Right, so the playlists are your best bet and like I told you I'm gonna be making like much better playlists like this one I'm gonna be and then like for example customer service I'm gonna be doing like a financial playlist bank playlist uh, uh, the whatever playlist you know whatever the words are and whatever category they belong in I'm gonna be putting it like that because I want you guys to be able to practice it easy right and then for example for medical definitions i will also be making like playlists like that so expect all of that all of that those great changes in 2023 but i mean it's gonna be the same thing i've already explained to you what they do and this one turp tales this turp tales this is just like um a little re if you know from all the seriousness that medical interpretation entails uh these are like just little uh situations that happened to me during sessions and i just thought they were pretty funny and i wanted people to know about them and so don't take this seriously this is just a joke session because of course um not everything in life can be so serious right so hopefully you can listen to that on your own so hopefully uh you guys also find that amusing or entertaining you know so you can see the lighter side of interpreting and actually working in the field and stuff so that is pretty much it for what i how come i made the shorts and what you can expect and how you can make the most out of those short uh foreign videos so that's gonna be it for this video i'm gonna be talking on the next video about the other playlists